Today, thousands of nurses from across Sydney and the state declared enough is enough. Premier, we are not coping. We are struggling before this pandemic even hit and this situation now is so much worse. Patient safety is bad, skill mix is bad, people are burnt out, we need more staff. We are nursing patients out in car parks. Is that a world-class health system? It's their first statewide strike in more than a decade. Nurses and midwives calling for a pay rise and one to four staffing ratios on hospital wards. We are unsupported. Our junior staff are scared to come to work. This is not good enough. We deserve better. The message for the state government was loud and clear. is covered and supported by safe staffing. Nurses and midwives are on the brink of another statewide strike after rejecting the Perite government's pay offer of 3%. We have to have change and the only way around that that supports nurses and, and ultimately our patients and the entire community is to have ratios. From the pandemic front line to the picket line, nurses say they were left with no option but to strike today. Exhausted nurses and midwives walking off the job. It's just not sustainable. From the southern border to the north coast. We're not going to give up until we get ratios and uh, to be able to provide safe patient care. The evidence is clear. This is not a radical concept. Queensland, Victoria, South Australia, ACT all have ratios. New South Wales is falling behind. We want ratios, safer workplaces and fair pay so we can provide the care that our community deserves. Tim, we have the New South Wales Premier on the show within the next half hour. A message to him? My message to him is the New South Wales health care system is failing. Three statewide strikes and months of negotiations later, the Nurses' Union has secured a major win, convincing Labor to overhaul staffing levels and set a minimum number Per shift. This is an important reform that goes to renewing public health in this state. This is a really excellent first step uh, and it meets the principles of our campaigning of shift by shift, enforceable, safe staffing minimums. Uh, from our perspective, this is the type of reform we believe is needed. It's absolutely not everything we want and we will keep campaigning, but it is an excellent first step that brings hope to our members that this system actually can work and that they can deliver the care that their patients deserve. It's now our fourth strike and we've been pushed around, we've been bullied, we've been fined, but we've stayed strong and we keep standing together. We are a so-called premier state, but honestly our healthcare system is absolutely appalling. The state's nurses are now as mad as hell. Demanding mandated staff to patient ratios and better pay. A show of solidarity at hospitals across the state, from Tweed Heads and Tamworth to Coffs Harbour and Gosford, the target of their frustration is clear. Our campaign to date has won concessions from the Greens, has won concessions from the Labor Party, and as we just heard, nothing, nothing from Mr Perrottet. If we are really to prioritise mental health, then we need ratios in mental health nursing. No area can be left behind in our fight for safe staffing ratios across our public health system. By speaking up and taking part in collective actions like this, you've generated the pressure needed to force politicians to do better, and some of them are. So let this be a message to the current government, get on board or get the hell out. Support the candidates who support ratios and vote like your life depends on it, because one day it might. We are very clear in what we're demanding from you. Are you going to commit to this? And if you're not, tell us, so that we know who to support. We cannot look after our patients the way we want to, the way that our patients deserve to be looked after. These are the areas that we've started with. It's not <clears throat> where we finish with. Look at the candidate that supports your community by supporting us nurses. Vote accordingly. Every mainland state has committed to nurse to patient ratios except New South Wales. So what is stopping us having them? Vote like your life depends on it.
One day, it might. New South Wales Nurses Union is taking the state government to court for allegedly breaching patient care awards due to understaffing. From the streets to the steps of the Supreme Court, the union filing what it says is an unprecedented lawsuit against the state government. It paints an alarming picture of our health system. Close to 500,000 nursing hours were missing, which equates to almost 60,000 shifts. We're here because we need change so desperately and so urgently. The fundamental issue here is that the system is broken. Nurses and midwives are today protesting outside hospitals in New South Wales as they fight to scrap the shift allocation system that they say leads to burnout. The rallies come as a major prosecution case is filed against the state, alleging widespread and repeated staffing breaches. We're being told constantly by our state government that it's a world-class health system. It's not. They need to come down here on the floor and see what it's like. It is their system that's at fault. It is not us. It is not nurses and midwives. You turn up every day doing exactly what you can in a system that's falling down around your ears. I think if some of the general public could come in and see what's going on, they would be horrified. Horrified. We're about to head to the polls. What's your message to voters? I would encourage them to vote in a way that supports ratios because it is the difference between whether they can receive care that is safe and appropriate and the care that they pay for and that they deserve.